Yeah, I like that a lot. Man, uh, Alpha Cools kind of winning me over with this product a little bit, I must say. Okay, let's unbox this shit. This is, uh, oh, dude, they give you a f two slot IO bracket. That's W. Wow. Okay, that's so they they know. Okay, that's fucking epic, dude. They know that um, people that buy this thing are probably using it to save motherboard slots. That's fucking. That's very very good on Alpha Cool's part. This is kind of a good product, man. I must say, I'm 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 kind of. Uh, if this if this ends up work, is this a copper radiator? I think it is. Yeah, they even give you a copper radiator. This is not, this is not bad, dude. Although I can see installation being kind of fucking complicated. Let's see here. It's a nice piece, but there's definitely some uh, machining defects over here on the side. Not that that matters because it's on the VRM. Wow, there's a lot of machining defects here. What the fuck? Man, I fucking paid $230 for this shit. Wow, dude, this is this is some dog shit. What is this? Man, if I saw this beforehand, I would have returned to this fucking thing. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay. So, this is man, they get half they get half the things they do such a good job on half the fucking things, and then they give you some shitty porous copper. Like, but like, 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 like they even color coded the fucking memory or the the thermal pads, man. That's so nice, and they pre-cut them for you. So, so if if I had a so basically, I don't like Alpha Cool as a company either, and EK. But if I had to choose one, I would choose Alpha Cool just because it makes my life easier, dude. I don't like cutting my own fucking thermal pads. That's dog shit. Who has time for that shit? Am I gonna get the uh, 4070 Ti Super? Yeah, it's coming on Monday. I, I didn't pay for the fast shipping because I don't care that much. Even even if um, even if I did pay for the fast shipping, to be honest, I wouldn't have had time to um, I wouldn't have had time to actually get any testing done because I had to prepare for the mastermind today. Which is more important? Uh, like I, 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 um, taking care of the Discord people that give me lots of money is far, far more important than worrying about content on YouTube. I gotta make the supporters happy more than anything, right? They pay me a lot of fucking money, dude. I gotta make that content. I have to make the mastermind content so valuable that they want to stay subscribed, right? This is interesting. Check this out. That's fucking cool. They give you a little square piece that goes around the... Yeah, I like that a lot. Man, uh, Alpha Cool's kind of winning me over with this product a little bit, I must say. This is fucking... This is epic, dude. This one goes right here. Look at that shit. This is good stuff. Although, I wish they had some over here. I might add my own later. You should always have one underneath the VRMs on this side as well. I don't know why they, they missed that one. That should be simple. Wait, what? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Um, you can see this. You can't look at this. So the, it, it came broken. It's missing a standoff right here. Yeah, uh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, the acrylic is cracked here, so it got damaged in shipping or something. Yeah, because the standoff is supposed to come here and clamp down. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Fuck, man. How the fuck are you supposed to see that before uh, it's too late? Yeah, the acrylic just snapped right off. Look at this. Wait a minute. Why can't I focus on this thing? 
There we go. Yeah. It like snapped right the fuck off, dude. You could use JB weld on this, to be honest. That would probably work. I d it doesn't actually have to. I got. You know what's funny? I got lucky that it was that one that broke off and not any of the other ones. Because that one, it doesn't really matter. It's not contacting any of the important parts. So I can just use a nut and bolt on that one and it won't affect anything, right? Sweet. That's it, boys. We're done. Yeah. Oh, it's full of water too. Fuck yeah. There's chunks in there. What the hell? Can you see that? Okay, man. There's like, there's like floaties in there. Look at that shit. Why is there like bacteria growth in there already? Oh man, I don't know. Okay, there's, I think there's too many cons to this. There's too many. Okay, but anyway, anyway, this is how I fix this shit. If you can see that. Uh, right here. So instead of the, um, instead of the standoff holding it in place, I put the nut and screw instead. Right? You can kind of see that. I'm trying to make sure, yeah. So, which is fine. This one doesn't hold anything together other than the IO bracket. So I literally got lucky that that's the one that snapped off and not any of the other ones, right? So I just super fucking lucky, dude. Super lucky. Everything else looks fine though. Ah. <sighs> We'll see. We'll see what happens, man. Yeah, I don't know why there's fucking bacteria growth in there. That seems a little ridiculous. It's brand new. You could also say that the fucking theme of this stream is Now this. there's gonna tell me how much I have to fuck around to find out what I need to find out. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Yeah, dude, it, uh, look at this. The temperature is worse. Yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't clamp it down enough. No. Mm, those fucking, f no, because it, it's those, um, it's the foam washers, man. That's what it is. It's not, it, it's not actually worse. It's because the foam fucking washers. I don't know how hard to screw those things down. It looked flat to me, but I have to go back in there and screw it down more. So that didn't help, but I'm pretty sure what's going on here is the air bubbles are being trapped at the top here. So like they're not, they're not, they're not going up into the radiator. So the pump, is not circulating the water properly. So I have to like flip this on its side to get the air bubbles up. It's kind of, yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's try. Okay, so I'm gonna try and turn the PC on with this out and sideways. Hopefully it circulates the water. Oh yeah, what the fuck, no wonder. No, it's still dog shit. Huh. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, so something's wrong here for sure. Um, it's a water flow issue. I'm not sure if I got a defective unit or what, but so when I was looking at the water flow actually go through the loop, um, it's just not moving the water. So I think maybe I got a defective one. I'm not sure. I got all the air bubbles out and it's still not moving the water almost at all, right? So, yeah, so I'm actually, I emptied out the entire loop and I'm trying to flush it out now. And um, the water pump is so weak that it can't even push the water bubbles out. Like, this is, um, I don't know, man. Oh, maybe not. She seems like she's starting to move now. I'm gonna get rid of all these air bubbles and keep you guys posted. Okay, so I actually did get it working. That entire flush and refill was the ticket, right? So we're doing time spy and we're looping it and the performance is kind of mid, I suppose. 
Yeah, it's just mid. Okay, so it's the next day. I decided to give this thing one more shot. Now, the only thing that I could really see being a problem here is the die height, right? So if you look at the spread of the thermal paste, there really shouldn't be that much thermal paste. Like it's making contact, clearly, but it's not putting enough pressure down because the paste should be kind of squeezing out the sides and it's not. So the, the cooler is kind of just sitting on top of the die but not actually putting pressure on it. So what I think I might do, oh, just a theory anyway, I might swap out these thermal pads for thinner ones and then I might also change out these, uh, these stock screws and put in some higher pressure ones as well and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's definitely a die height problem. If I, if I tighten that thing down anymore, it's gonna snap the die in half. So this is an, it's, it's actually um, a defective product. So this, yeah, Alpha Cool really fucked this one up. Yep, that's the exact problem. So this time around, I basically wiped off the paste off of this side and left it on this side and it barely made any contact at all. So the die height here is too low to make contact with um, with the actual cold plate. So the only thing that I could do if I wanted to is file down these standoffs maybe half a millimeter each or something, which is fucking ridiculous. I will, uh, I'm gonna be um, returning this product. It's, it's complete ass cheeks. You can tell too because the thermal pads that I used here, they're 0 0.5 millimeter and they're barely making contact with the memory, right? The indent, looking at, looking at the indents here. So I crammed this water block down as far as it could go with smaller thermal pads and it still wouldn't make contact with the cold plate. So to summarize then, this standoff arrived broken off. The cold plate is not low enough to reach the die, and the water pump had so many air bubbles in it, I had to bleed the entire system just to get it functioning in the first place. So, absolute train wreck of a product. Absolute train wreck. Thankfully, I'm in my return window. Anyway, guys, avoid this product at all costs. Thank you to the supporters for buying it in the first place so that I could test it and bring this information to you guys. And if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you've tried one of these dumpster fires. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.